Hi, I'm Robert Crow, and today I'm going to be talking about TensorFlow Extended, also known as TFX, and how it helps you put your amazing machine learning models into production. This is the first episode in our five-part series on real-world machine learning, which will help you get up to speed on using TFX to create your own production machine learning pipelines. In today's episode, we'll be asking the question, what exactly is this TFX thing anyway? Let's find out. When we think about ML, we usually only think about the great models that we can now create. After all, that's what all the research papers are focused on. But when we want to take that amazing model and make it available to the world, we need to think about all the things that a production solution requires. So, that's why we have TFX, to build production pipelines so that we can offer our amazing models to the world. Google created TFX because we needed it, and there was nothing already available that could meet our needs. Google does a ton of ML, and not just Google, but all of the Alphabet companies. There's ML in almost everything we do. In fact, TFX wasn't the first ML pipeline framework that Google created. It evolved out of earlier attempts and is now the default framework for the majority of Google's ML production solutions. And now, Google is open sourcing TFX and making it available to everyone. And it's not just Google. TFX has had deep impact on our partners, including Twitter, Airbnb, and PayPal. As ML developers putting a model into production, what do we need to think about? First, when we start planning for developing an ML application, we have all the normal ML things to think about. That includes getting labeled data if we're doing supervised learning, and making sure that our data set covers well the space of possible inputs. We also want to minimize the dimensionality of our feature set while maximizing the predictive information it contains. And we need to think about fairness and make sure that our application won't be unfairly biased. We also need to consider rare conditions, especially in applications like healthcare, where we might be making predictions for conditions that only occur in rare but important situations. And finally, we need to consider that this will be a living solution that will evolve over time as new data flows in and as conditions change and plan for life cycle management of our data. But in addition to all that, we need to remember that we're putting a software application into production. That means that we still have all the requirements that any production software application has, including scalability, consistency, modularity and testability, as well as safety and security. We're way beyond just training a model now. By themselves, these are challenges for any production software deployment, and we can't forget about them just because we're doing ML. How are we going to meet all these needs? and get our amazing new model into production. We don't pretend to have all the answers. This is an evolving field within the ML community, and we welcome contributions. If you're interested in a more in-depth discussion of the challenges of machine learning in production environments, this is a great paper. That's what TFX is all about. TFX allows you to create production ML pipelines that include many of the requirements for production software deployments and best practices. It starts with ingesting your data and flows through data validation, feature engineering, training, evaluating, and serving. In addition to TensorFlow itself, we've created libraries for each of the major phases of an ML pipeline, TensorFlow data validation, TensorFlow transform, and TensorFlow model analysis. TFX implements a series of pipeline components which leverage these libraries, which in this diagram are in orange, and allows you to create your own components too. To tie all this together, we've created some horizontal layers for things like pipeline storage, configuration, and orchestration. 
These layers are really important for managing and optimizing your pipelines and the applications that you run on them. We'll be discussing those more in later episodes. For now, that should give you an idea of what we're talking about when we think about implementing a production ML pipeline with TFX. In our next episode, we'll discuss how TFX pipelines actually work. For more information on TFX, visit us at tensorflow.org TFX. And don't forget to comment and like us below. And thanks for watching.